Hello, Cancer, my Cancerians. How are you guys doing? Welcome to your reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see, Cancer, what is to come to you in love? Cancer, what is coming to the Cancer in love, please? Cancer, so you have a reconciliation. Reconciliation. So someone is wanting to reconcile with you. You have a fluttering heart. Taurus pulled a uh, fluttering heart. You could be connected to a Cancer. I'm uh, sorry, a Taurus. What the hell am I talking about? Dazzled by you. And then you have no one compares. So there are feelings of, look, nothing compares to this connection. Nothing compares to you, your love, baby. There's nothing that compares, Cancer. All right. Let's come into Cancer in love. What do we have? I'm hearing someone gets butterflies and all these type of things. Let's come into Cancer in love, please. Page of Cups. Hmm. Virgo energy as well. Pisces energy. So for some of you, yeah, this is someone that you've been in no communication with. There's been quite a separation. Okay, but the good news is that that is definitely coming to an end. All right. That's coming to an end. And uh, with this person, with someone reaching out with a really sweet message here. Okay. It does. This message feels very shy. But that's what's going on here. <laughs> what's coming to Cancer in love? Yep. That's what it seems like, Cancer. <laughs> we do have Leo energy here. The sun. I feel like this is going to be like a real delightful message that you receive. Like this message. It feels like like a real sweet message that just makes you feel really warm and makes you feel really good okay whatever they're gonna say to you just kind of like you probably start having like your you know when the cartoons when the eyes have the heart the heart in the eyes and stuff <laughs> coming to cancer and love could be news of a, a pregnancy as well had to say that okay but uh so if you have someone cancer that you that's been ducked off from you um uh, just understand that there's about to be communication coming your way from them let's come into cancer and love um it does feel as though commitment is on this person's mind. Taurus, Libra energy. Commitment is on this person's mind when it comes to you. And I'm also hearing something about doing the right thing. Perhaps this person owes you an apology. Maybe for ghosting you or whatever, but or for how things went down. But there could definitely be an apology happening here. Page of Cups, Justice, Libra, Energy. Okay. I'm hearing there's going to be like a lot of clarity in the situation. You're going to be getting a lot of answers. Things are going to definitely start to make sense. The pieces come together in the puzzle. Okay. Um, but I feel like whatever, whoever this person is, someone's wanting to rebuild a connection or start a relationship here. Okay. That's what's going on. Perhaps, you know, when this person comes back, depending on what happened, um, you guys may not automatically go to a relationship. There's levels to this, okay? Then you guys could start off with a friendship and then discuss more. Um, but the good thing is that someone is making things right here and they're keeping it real. That's good. This could be someone who's 
you know, uh, maybe they were emotionally unavailable. Someone was emotionally unavailable. And what they're trying to do now is they're trying to be more available emotionally. Okay, someone could be trying to uh, follow their heart a little bit more. It's baby steps. It doesn't feel like a real big gesture, but it's baby steps. Perhaps someone had got some counseling done or some therapy. Okay. I do feel like there's a bit of emotional immaturity in the situation for some of you. And whatever this person's about to say to you and offer, it seems like they've thought about it. They, you know, they put a lot of thought into this before doing it. They've thought about what they're going to say. And I feel like that's why this message is just like so nice. Because they put a lot of effort into what they're about to say to you. And some of you are waiting on justice. That's coming. Yep, things will definitely be healed in the situation. That's if you want this person back, Cancer. But they've definitely thought about everything that they're about to tell you and put on the table and share with you. So it does feel like someone's willing to make sacrifices. They're willing to compromise. Even in relationships, this could be you guys having a new start with each other. Okay. It feels like new again or something like that. <laughs> All right, what do you want Cancer to know, please, about this love situation? What do you want Cancer to know? You have go slow, take time to get to know each other. Fate, this is a destined partnership. You have healing, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting and forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. I can definitely see forgiveness happening in this situation. Anything else, please? So you guys probably had like a nasty argument or something like that before you fell out. Or someone just basically pushed the other person away. They have really sabotaged the connection. Just didn't really operate from like a good vibration at all, okay? And this led to a breakup. You guys broke up. You guys separated. I do feel like there was something someone didn't want to necessarily take accountability about. But that's changing because justice account, it talks about integrity and accountability. That's what it talks about. Wow, the Empress. There could be a marriage proposal here or like renewing vows with each other. But I do feel like there's gonna be better treatment here. Someone may have even gotten advice from somebody else, like a mother figure. This could even be like a grandmother, got some advice. And it helped put things into perspective for somebody. Ten of Swords. For some of you, I do feel like this is like a twin flame connection because you do have the Emperor and the Empress together. But the Emperor was in the, like the real bad version of himself with it being in the reverse. Yep. Let me pull a little charms for you, Cancer. See, who is this person for Cancer? Ooh. I hate when that happens. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. All right, so this could be a Libra. This could be an Aquarius. This could be another Cancer. A Capricorn. Someone could definitely be pregnant. And the reason why I say that, or you could just have a child together, could have a boy together, but, um, or have a child, okay? But there's like a baby's foot here. So H, A, and baby's foot could be sign um, signaling, like symbolizing a, a fresh start with each other as well, okay? 
M G H C L P D M K A J. So it feels like there is something about even maybe starting over with learning each other's love languages. You know that type of deal where there's like compromise, trying to learn each other again. Okay. All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Like this video if you found it helpful and talk to you soon.